Today I am going to disassemble a HP uh, 17P161DX series. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the other 17Ps in the series should be very, very similar. So if you have one that's not exactly the 161DX, but maybe one of the other uh, uh, submodels, should be pretty much the same concept. Always take your battery out. Now this one has a couple little tricky screws and if you're not looking for them, you will miss them. First one is this one right here. And that actually holds your keyboard onto the bottom cover. There's two others right here. You have to take these off and then there's a couple screws underneath here. Kind of gently reach underneath there, pry that little piece off and do the same for this one. Turn this around real quick. There is one screw right here okay same thing over here here's the other little sneaky screws one here and one on the other side once you get that off one screw here one screw here boom lifts right off you have your main screw here i'm going to point out all the screws that you need to take out of this laptop before you can successfully begin to remove the cover okay so we covered this corner one here this corner one here and then we've got the one that held these pieces in. Then you have one here, one here on either side of the CD drive. You have this one here. Then you have one right here, one right here, one right here, 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 and here. Then you have one here. Then you have another here. Then you have another one right here. Just worked it out with my thumbnail. And as you can see, it slides right out. You've got these little tiny nasty screws. Take your laptop with all the bottom screws removed, flip it open. See how it's separating there? Once you get it apart, you just kind of work it around with your fingers just like that until it starts popping. Okay, so I'm just kind of work around. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. You've got some cables still attached. That goes in there like that. And I just lift up with my thumbnail, slide it out. And you've got your keyboard connector here, same thing. A little bit of upper pressure with your thumbnail. Take that, just boom, slides out like that. Once you do that, as you can see, there's another cable, another connector right here. This is your main power connector. I actually had this loosened already. That's why it just came right out, right there. Once you did that, boom. Keyboard is off. We've got another ZIF connector right here. Slide that up gently just to get this cable here out of the way. You can literally just pry it up like that. Now you don't want to pry it straight up. If you notice here, you've got your SATA connector. Okay. So you want to kind of just gently like eggshell strength. Okay. And then now it's out of there. Literally gently remove the SATA connector. Now what we need to do is remove the motherboard from the system because what we have to do is replace this fan, which all the connections for the fan are underneath. Of course, brilliant design, right? So first thing we wanna do is disconnect any cables that we have connected right here, okay? It's your main power connection for the motherboard right here. You can just lift this little ZIF connector up. Don't put too much pressure on it. You'll break it off and you will not be able to put this cable back in. And trust me, you just don't want to do it. I've done it. So there's this one here, just a little bit of upward pressure. You can remove that cable there. It's got a little tab pulls right out. Then you have right here, the cable for your DVD drive. Same thing, pull it up slide it out and then of course right here your SATA data cable going to your motherboard or your uh, hard drive just slightly remove that and this one here which goes to your um, microphone speaker inputs and all that so once you've got all those removed and then of course you have one this one right here and usually the best way to do it is just to get very light grip on these connectors and just slowly wiggle it out now what you want to do is separate the motherboard from the bottom case okay and it's usually a set of three to five screws in this case there is one here 
uh, one here and one down here at the bottom and that's the only ones I see so let's take that one out right there and then okay oh, I'm sorry one more thing I forgot your right here this is your Wi-Fi antenna in case your wireless ever goes out on the laptop you can replace these you can see it's got a little um, connector piece right here it just pops right on that um, receptacle right there okay definitely want to remember which side it was on so it's on the left side in this case normally it has two one for each and uh, when you put it all back together you just literally set it on there and snap it down but we're going to remove that and there is a screw right there holding it in place also let me try to get a little more light here for you here hang on okay yeah hopefully you can see it but the screw right here once you take that out this piece right here pops up you just literally pull it out set it aside okay so now we've got our other motherboard screws again this one right here our main screws and one thing to mention definitely when you're at motherboard level i know earlier we talked about you know all the screws on the machine are all pretty much the same size once you start getting into the motherboard the screw sizes definitely change and when if you put the wrong screw in the wrong hole it's going to be a really bad day for you so last screw right here at the very top we've got access just lift up here and you want to generally try to stay away from touching any of the green because oil on your fingers gets on this board and it acts as a conductor as soon as power is applied well you can imagine so as a general rule i try to hold the edges uh, as most as best i can and just kind of lift and slide it out and really all i'm wanting to do is just get access to the fan please uh, feel free to leave comments below if you have anything you'd like me to address or any particular videos you'd like me to make in the future thanks so much for watching